if if you own or work for an oil producing company you know that you're going to produce uh, uh, crude oil over time you know that you're going to have production in april may you're going to have production in november december and but you're concerned about the price if price goes up then you will make more money if price goes down you will lose and also on the other side let's say you own a, an oil refinery you know you you are going to need crude oil for november for december so you have to buy that you have to pay for that if price go up you start losing money if price go down you make money fortunately but that's not all always the case so uh that's where hedging is going to help to reduce the risk and mitigate mitigate and uh at some sometimes removing the risk so what you can do it you can go to the to to the financial market to the nymex and get the futures uh, contract for delivery in november uh, or december whenever you want it if that's the crude oil uh, producing company you know you have to take short position if that's the uh, crude oil uh, uh, refinery you have you will be needing crude oil uh, you have to go and you have to take a long position but remember these contracts are binding so if you own an oil producing company you have to go to Cushing and deliver it there right at the at the time if that's uh, if uh, you have a long position by the expiration date you have to take the delivery from the Cushing right that's the location that's under the contract binding contract okay let's say you have an oil refinery or you have a crude oil uh, company that is not close to Cushing or you are not interested in working with Cushing taking delivery or delivering to Cushing so what you can do the good news is you can still use this futures con contract with a tweak that's called simple hedging that we'll go through that right now we'll walk through some examples and this is same for natural gas companies uh if if you own a natural gas producing company or a power plant that needs natural gas that has to buy and is very concerned about the price fluctuation so you want to mitigate that risk you want to reduce your risk exposure and we'll see how we can use these futures contracts the combination of futures contract which call simple hedge to this so remember you are uh, operating in some local uh, spot market and we uh, as we learn in lesson four the local prices are going to be more volatile compared to the futures prices why because they are being affected by the local supply and local demand right so any small fluctuation in any of the supply and demand will change the local price uh, uh, immediately so local prices spot price uh, is going to be more volatile by volatile i mean more variation in the price compared to financial market uh, perfect hedge or or uh, simple hedging strategy is going to be uh you uh take a opposite position you, you take two equal but opposite positions in the cash market and in the futures market so a producer will be long in cash market a producer is always long commodity because a producer always has the commodity always has crude oil to sell so producer is going to belong in the cash market so it has to take a short position in the futures market and this is called short hedge on the other side a consumer let's let's call it uh, let's say oil refinery oil refinery is always in need of crude oil so an oil refinery is short commodity 
is always short in cash market, in a spot market, in physical market. So a refinery should take a long position in the futures market. This is called hedging. We'll walk through some examples and we'll see how this hedging, how this strategy can eliminate or significantly reduce the risk exposure of these two players. The only difference between perfect and imperfect hedge is perfect hedge entirely eliminates the, the risk. Imperfect hedge, which is more realistic, it uh, does not fully eliminate, but it substantially reduces the risk exposure. And this is uh, hedging is highly dependent on uh, an efficient hedge is uh, dependent on the relationship between the futures and financial, uh, the futures and uh, spot market because these two are highly correlated, then we can see gain and loss in one market will offset all or some of the, the loss and gain in the other market. 